Hi folks, Tracy Sheen, the Digital Guide here, back with Daily Digital Tip number 76. We're powering through them. So today we are chatting about Google Trends. Google Trends is fantastic if you are stuck for finding content. Now, basically what I use Google Trends for and what I encourage clients to use Google Trends for, if you're looking for, you know, what's kind of trending in Google, what are some popular search terms, how is that search term going compared to other search terms, Google Trends is your best mate. It's run by Google. Um, You can see here it's a website that Google owned that analyzes the popularity of top search queries in Google search across various regions and languages. Probably said it a little bit better than I did, right? So if you Google Google Trends, you will see the website will come up. And basically what it does when it loads, you can decide on whether you want to search via the US, um, whether you want to search just within Australia, or when you want to do, you know, potentially a global search. Now, then it will, um, you know, give you different examples to show you how it works. So if we have a look at, say, for example, coronavirus, uh, and I go into read more, it will start to give me some information about what are the trending questions being asked. Now, this was April, so there's a bit of a lag on it. Um, you know, the Blackwater coronavirus case, the 30-year-old coronavirus case. What are some questions? What are some stuff that's coming up? How does the app work? Can I visit my family? Can I go fishing? Wow, top three question, huh? Um, When will lockdown end? When will restrictions be lifted? And you can see what those search interests and questions are like via region or even down to sub-regions. So what are the questions coming out of Queensland? What are they coming out of New South Wales? What does that look like? So it allows you to really kind of drill down and get some really good information that you can use when you're creating content. Um, You can share pages directly from there. Or you can, um, you know, develop a bit of a kind of a platform that you can go back to and and check the trends over a period of time. So check it out. Google Trends, have a play with it. I find it a bit of a rabbit hole, to be honest. So, you know, give yourself kind of, you know, half an hour, an hour to have a bit of a play with it because you're, you're going to have a bit of fun with it once you first log in. So maybe make yourself a cuppa for this one before you go and have a play. And then just, you know, have a, have a bit of a look and see what you can come up with and how you could potentially use that information in your business. Gives you a bunch of recently, you know, trending. What's the year in search look like uh, for last year? Bunch of stuff. Make yourself a coffee, right? It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a rabbit hole, but check it out. Definitely one you need to know about. Google Trends. Have fun with it. Let me know what you want me to be talking about. Drop me a note in the comments. Shoot me an email. Love to hear if you found an app or a piece of software or a hack that you want me to cover. Love to do that. Let me know. I will see you tomorrow with another daily digital tip. Take care. See ya.